Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to be reading from another page. It's concerning the uh, what's known of Core Exist 9500, which is the oil dispersant being used in the Gulf. A dire report prepared for President Mel Med Medvedev uh, by Russia's military of natural resources warning today that the British petroleum oil and gas leak in the Gulf of Mexico is about to become the worst environmental catastrophe in all of human history threatening the entire eastern half of the North American continent with total destruction. Russian scientists are basing their up apocalyptic Destruction, destruction assessment due to BP's use of millions of gallons of the chemical dispersal agent known as Core Exist 9500, which is being pumped directly into the leak of this wellhead over a mile under the Gulf of Mexico waters and designed, this report says, to keep hidden from the American public the full and tragic extent of this leak that is now estimated to be over 2.9 million gallons a day. The dispersal agent Core Exist 9500 is a solvent originally developed by Exxon and now manufactured by the Nalco Holding Company of Naperville, Illinois that is four times more toxic than oil. Oil is toxic at 11 parts per million. Core Exist 9500 at only 2.1, uh, 2.61 parts per million. In a report written by Anita George Aries and James R. Clark for Exxon Biomedical Sciences Incorporated titled Acute Aquatic Tex Toxicity of Three Core Exist, Core Exist Products an Overview. Core Exist 9500 was found to be one of the most toxic dispersal agents ever developed. Even worse, according to this report, with higher water temperatures like those now occurring in the Gulf of Mexico, its toxicity grows. The United States Environmental Protection Agency is discovering BP's use of this dangerous dispersal agent, ordered BP to stop using it, but BP refused, stating that their only alternative to Core Exist 9500 was an even more dangerous dispersal agent known as CBRAT-4. The main differences between Core Exist 9500 and CBRAT-4 lie in how long these dangerous chemicals take to degrade into their constituent organic compounds, which for Core Exist 9500 is 28 days. CBRAT-4, on the other hand, degrades into an organic, an organic chemical called non-polyethanol, which is that is toxic to aquatic life and can persist in the environment for years. A greater danger involving Core Exist 9500, and as outlined by Russian scientists in this report, is that with its 2.61 parts per million toxicity level, and when combined with the heating Gulf of Mexico waters, its molecules will be able to phase transition from their present liquid to a gaseous state, allowing them to be absorbed into clouds and allowing their release as toxic rain upon all of eastern North America. Even worse, should a Katrina-like tropical hurricane from form in the Gulf of Mexico, while tens of millions of gallons of core exit, exit 9500 are sitting on or near its surface, the resulting toxic rain falling upon the North American continent could theoretically destroy all microbial life to any depth it reaches, resulting in an unimaginable environmental catastrophe destroying all life forms from the bottom of the evolutionary chart to the top. Note, for molecules of a liquid to evaporate, they must be located near the surface, be moving in the proper direction, and have sufficient kinetic energy to overcome liquid phase intermolecule forces. Only a small proportion of the molecules meet these criteria, so the rate of evaporation is limited. Since the kinetic energy of a molecule is proportional to its temperature, Evaporation proceeds more quickly at higher temperatures. Uh, sunlight, heat, energy, uh, the electrons. Uh, I'm sorry, this has got me shaking, so I'm speaking badly also. This is very alarming. 
As over 50 miles of the U.S. state of Louisiana's coastline has already been destroyed by this spill, American scientists are warning that the damage may be impossible to repair. And we can read, as reported by the Associated Press News Service, the gooey oil washing into the maze of marshes along the Gulf Coast could prove impossible to remove, leaving a toxic stew lethal to fish and wildlife Government officials and independent scientists said officials are considering some drastic and risky solutions. They could set the wetlands on fire or flood areas in hopes of flooding, floating out the oil. They warn an aggressive cleanup could ruin the marshes and do more harm than good. Yes, because then it would evaporate the stuff even more. Heat. Energy. <laughs> And to understand the full import of the catastrophe, it must be remembered that this disaster is occurring is in what is described as the biologically richest waters in America. With the greatest amount of oil and toxic core ex exit 9500 set to come ashore in the coming days and weeks to destroy it completely for decades to come. Reports are also coming from the United States that their government is secretly preparing to evacuate tens of millions of their citizens from the Gulf of Mexico state should the most dire of these scientific warnings start to come true. To the greatest lesson to be learned by these Americans is their government oil industry cabal has been just as destructive to them as their government banking. One both of which have done more to destroy the United States these past couple of years than any foreign enemy could dare dream was possible. But to their greatest enemy, the Americans need look no further than the nearest mirror as they are the ones who allowed these monsters to rule over them in the first place. Um, I'll have a link in here for uh, the web page. Again, I'm sorry about my speech. Uh, this really is disturbing, uh, so uh, I'm shaking. I also will be doing another report later on uh, another problem that we need to be aware of, and that's the fact of how extensive of a f range we have concerning how big... You oh, shit. You piss me off. About how big of a f or field we have under Canada, the United States, and a lot of uh, Mexico as well, and how it's uh, being oxidated due to drilling practices, and uh, because of it, uh, we're on top of a bomb of epic proportions uh, we also have to consider the Texas Panhandle region where Pentex is and I'm familiar with that company because I've hauled stuff in and out of there and it's where they take old nuclear weapons and uh, the f propane natural gas uh, fields and everything that are down there are only 50 feet below the surface and what they do is they pump water in these fields to force the LP out well box structure that we have leach in more oxygen and gravity the suction it creates in with the LP um, that'll be another one because that, that's going to take a lot of research and uh, how to present it in a way that is grasped by most people I want to verify what I've seen as far as the graphs of how extensive this field really is we just need to look at, uh, say, Fort Worth and all of the fields, uh, the wells they put in to harvest LP. Um, the world's mad. <laughs> There's uh, nowhere for any of us to go. 
not unless we leave this continent.